hello guys so uh recently i made a tutorial on how to create dreadlocks in blender yeah i created like a short dread uh, style so uh yeah that particular method has quite a number of limitations firstly that uh, particular method do not really work when you are creating really long dreads it kind of looks awkward and weird i would show you how it looks eventually and secondly when I tried simulating, simulating it, I wasn't really getting a good result. So yeah, recently I was faced with a challenge on uh, creating and simulating dreadlocks style, which eventually I found a way to go about it, and that's what I'm showing you in this video. So uh, firstly, I've uh, created this character. This is actually a character I created some years back or a while back actually. I'm not sure, probably like a year ago. Or two. So uh, yeah, I went to this just shaking its head left and right and all around so yeah i actually want to create like a dreadlock style where you would want to, where the air will be simulated as the character moves his head so yeah uh without wasting any more time let's get into it so i'll select the head go into edit mode and i'll turn on x-ray so i could select boots and enable face select and yeah with my brush select tool, I'll just select the areas where I want the dreads to go from. Yeah, so something like this should be fine. So, yeah, okay, I don't want this much from the front, so let me just deselect this and select this. Yeah, even though the character doesn't have a face, so I should have a nice idea where the edge should start from yeah so after selecting this i'll just duplicate it separate it by select separate it by selection so now i have my air mesh and my character so from the air mesh here i would remove the material because i don't need this so this is what we have right now and yeah maybe scale it up a bit to edit mode and scale it up a bit yeah just so it is right outside the mesh i could easily select it so now that I have this, all I want to do now is to add in the air and simulate it. But yeah, let me show you how I uh, go about it, how I went about it rather. So click on plus and add a new air particle. I would use just 50 so as not to burn down my CPU. And I would reduce this all the way down to. Let me see. I think this thread should be long enough 0 0.4. Let me see how well this would work. So, uh, yeah, I add an air dynamics and play this. You can see the air going all around and around. But yeah, I don't really think this works that well when adding the. So let me go ahead and uh, use the same method I used for the previous tutorial and show you the result I got. So right here, I would reduce it to seven. Definitely, it will be way more slower. Add the simple children, reduce the radius yes and yeah so the stuff that actually gave the dread that kind of dread looks let me just do the clump just to like that so, so the stuff that gave the dress that kind of dread was the roughness that the uniform size and the uniform uh, number here so the uniform size i took it down to the least it was 0.01 so this is this if I take it lower than this it can't go anywhere if I put 0 0.001 it's not going anywhere the least you can use is in 0 you can use this in 0 0.01 and this uniform if I tweak it a bit it would have this kind of rough look but if you check it out it's not exactly like the great I did the other time so yeah that's the intention so I will just leave this as known and on that viewport reduce this back to two and yeah so how exactly did i plan on going about this trade yeah that's what i'll show you guys right now so uh firstly i would how to convert this to mesh but before i do so let me comb this air backward a bit so just select the comb brush in particular this mode i would go into the airframe so it will affect both sides and just comb this backward because yeah after simulating i want the edge to actually fall backwards and not uh, forward yeah so something like this for the air 
and uh, maybe go into particle edit mode uh, fill in some scanty areas so i'll use this add brush that's add and we we'll use the contour down to one so in some areas where i know there are no air most especially in this front part i need quite a number of air there so i'll just go ahead and I think i added too much there uh -uh, why do i keep yeah just go ahead and add a few strands to the top the side yeah so this is this is fine i just use a comb brush and comb this backward yeah now i can see that the front of the hair is kind of forward now back to object mode what i want to do now is if you come right here under this uh, particle under this uh, particle to mesh oh yeah when you have modifiers rather you will see this uh, option to convert it to mesh what i'm going to do now convert it to mesh and yeah now you have your air here which is in mesh and if i hide this you also have your air that you created so i'm just going to should i delete no let me hide this i'll move this to a new collection it is underscore air and i don't need this to be active so i'll just go ahead look for it and uncheck it here to hide it and i will hide the air itself so uh, yeah what i want to do now is to add in a clothes simulation to this <coughs> i click on plus and oh sorry that's particle my physics properties right i'll just click on clothes to add in the clothes simulation and you can select the default here yeah, i think silk is fine and if you play it just falls right down so how do we go about this how do we go about this yeah that's what i'm going to show you right now firstly i want to add in a pin group and uh, to do that i'm going to edit mode and switch to vertex select mode so by default after converting any particle to mesh the roots will be selected definitely so firstly what i want to do is to pin this root so to do that i'm going to the vertex group you can plus to create a new vertex group and assign the selected vertices which is just the roots assign and now go into your close simulation property scroll down here to where you see the shape and under pin group i'll select the group so now if you play it just falls but it does not move with the head so one thing you can do you can select this and so i think i eat my so yeah What did I do? I'm trying to figure something out. I think I eat my skeleton and my amateur rather. So yeah, this is it. So now I want to select the air, select the amateur going to uh pose mode, select the head bone, control P and objects now if you play the uh, air is actually parented to this but i don't think it's working for now so what i want to do now is to go into edit mode it select everything it to extrude along the x-axis by 0.009 it's move git move along the x-axis by minus 0.0045 so now full stop individual origin scale on the x-axis okay no i don't think this would work well. so let me just leave it at this and play it and see how this works this should move alongside this so what's going on what's going on what's going on what's going on Ctrl P, boom. Yeah, now it's moving. So now you are noticing some uh, particular errors, which well not errors too, just that we haven't fixed it yet. The air is actually colliding with the uh, penetrating the body. So what you need to do is select the body, go to your physics property and add a collision object. So now if you play, it would not pass through the body and it would yeah 
So I think I want to to yeah, I should have sold this so I didn't move it. So if I play it now, it should work better, but a bit more slower. So let me just undo that, undo that, undo that. And uh, thinking of how to go about this exactly. Yeah, so uh, let me just go ahead and complete this just round it up. Click on plus to create a new air system. That's another particular edit mode. Yeah, switch to air and reduce the length that's like 0 0.1 i think it's too short 0 0.04 yeah something like this and under show under viewport don't show a meter out until this increase this trans depth to seven under render to uncheck show a meter increase this trans depth to seven enable b spline and yeah now you can just use the same settings i did for i did for the last red tutorial once i enable clump okay no i don't need clumping for this just roughness reduce this at least turn this down to turn this up to point zero five let me see how this works and voila it should simulate well but way more slower And I think yeah, I'll still reduce this and uh, uniform Just make it less thicker. So here you have your dress, uh, and you can simulate it along with your animation, and everything should work fine. So yeah, thank you for watching. See you in the next uh, video.